Hi guys, in this video we're gonna make some sort of user agent spoofing with the scrappy shell and uh, for testing purposes I'm going to use this requestbin.com site which provides us an endpoint to test uh, the get requests basically so if we just kind of uh, open a new tab and go to this uh, endpoint here I'll, I'll see two requests, the first is trying to get the fav icon which is not really that important, we just can delete this and the second one is actually what we are looking for, it contains seven hitters here are they basically and this what makes you to be look like like a human, like a real browser uh, out there in the internet so uh just to, just to make it clear uh what am i talking about let me show you one thing here so in case if i just start this scrappy shell and uh, do exactly the same get request but not with the browser but using the scrappy shell itself and i simply say fetch and paste the same link that everything is just fine but here we get six hitters and uh, the user agent here is scrappy and the version of the scrappy itself so uh, some sites uh, doesn't really like to be scraped by any bots and as far as they would see your, your user agent you eventually get banned so uh, there is uh, a way to avoid this and the technique that is used for that purpose is called user agent spoofing and uh, I'll be using uh, already pre-prepared hitters that I'm using in my daily jobs basically and just to, to give you an idea how you can do this in your projects and this video I'm supposed to do this in the scrappy shell itself and the next video probably will write a test spider in a test project to show you the same things the same ideas so we need from scrappy import uh, request uh, that's needed to make the custom request and pass the custom headers to the request basically so we create a variable called request rec is equal request and now let's specify the URL URL equals and what we just got here and the headers equal and here let me just grab my pre-prepared headers just like this okay and closing the brackets so what we did here so I'm using the user agent as exactly the same as my browser so I, I've taken this from here basically so that's my browser also oh, upgrading secure ex re requests another element in this dictionary so uh, it's over here oh yes it's over here language uh, and uh, accept encoding is also the same as it was over in here well maybe not the same I, I don't really remember where did it take it from but doesn't matter really okay and now uh, the one last the the one thing left to do is actually to call fetch and use the request variable as an argument and now we see that another uh, request has occurred and now we have already seven headers and now the user agent is look like the browser yeah so uh, just let me demonstrate to you why do you actually need to do this well say uh, you're a scrap in this site it's the crunch based news it's crunchbase.com the news section and say you want to find the uh, you know like articles related to the particular company well say it's Volvo okay so when I hit enter and uh, I get the response from this particular address here and just to demonstrate you what happens well I, I just open another uh, I just open another scrappy shell now so what happens uh, if I just say fetch and I grab this okay and I grab this one 
address that I'll get redirected over here and if I just uh, view the actual response that I got here that it turns out that basically it has redirected me to the home page of the Crunchbase news so no specific stuff no related companies just the home page it's not really what we're supposed to kind of uh, get as a response so okay is this okay so I just close this session here and close the window and open this one and okay probably yeah probably I need to uh, okay probably yeah <laughs> I gotta write this one more time basically oh come on yeah just quickly uh, oh what do I what have I done scrapey show like this okay sorry guys just just quickly done this again from scrapey import request okay and now request equals request URL uh, equals this one so just grab it and uh, headers headers equals and I just grab the headers I've used one more time and close the braces here and fetch fetch the request again and as you can see now it crawls it just fine so the exact exactly the link we are expecting to crawl and the response status 200 means that everything is okay so no redirections now and just to make sure that everything works right let me view res the response one more time and you see that this page that we're supposed to scrape and this one that we actually scraped is absolutely the same so now we can go on extracting our data okay guys hope this was interesting and take care